Hey, Shalom. Kalala Yamla Yahawa Basham Yawashai Bahasham Racha Kodash. Double and also the apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect. Right, this year is number one from the great millstone camp in Trinidad. Um, Nimada's lesson is Yahawashai have enemies and they is part, they two thirds are your own people. So, you Lord. In coming back for two thirds of your own people. Because you have shy enemies outside here. And, and for you to hear that man who telling you the truth and make he your enemy, you is a fucking demon. Your functions are for the vibes of the so called white man and you will be destroyed. These Philippians 3 and 17 it says, Brethren, Paul talking to his brothers here, the elect men. You telling them watch, brethren, bro, be followers together of me, follow me, and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an ensample, right? Mark everybody who walking like me, that was the apostle Paul saying. Right? Yeah, we find an example. So mark us. Walk. Watch how we just do things. Watch how we just vibes. Watch how we just function. And do that. Got the right path. It says. For many walk of whom. I have told you often. And now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the cross of Yahawashai. So Yahawashai have enemies. And a lot of them too. Like them three neglects. Like them like them three neglects who talking that they were Hebrew Israelites. It could never be it could never it never it can't such thing as you were I or you was a Hebrew. You will be a Hebrew till you die, till you lie down and them, till the missiles come, you'll be a fucking Hebrew Israelite. Where you, where you was, a unbe- where you is, is an unbeliever. Where you was, was a nigger who was in your garment. And you know, this is the meaning of the, the, the word enemies, right? It come from the Greek. Strong's G2190. Echthras. Echthras. Hated, odious, hateful, hostile. They are hostile toward the house. Hating and opposing another. Use of men as at enmity with the most high by their sin. Because they love to dwell in the sin that they're committing. Or the sins that they're committing. And that is what them niggas and them were saying. That they might cuss out men for keeping the for not keeping the arms, the laws, and them themselves not keeping it. It says, opposing the Mosa in the mind. Yeah, because everything starts in your thoughts. All of all these enemies, whoever that don't believe in Yahushai, is an enemy of Yahushai, and therefore Yahushai was promised that, that by his father, that his enemies would be made his footstool. So you niggas gonna be made the Awashai footstool. But you're gonna come back in the kingdom and you out. But when you have a shy come back, he gonna pull you under your foot. That is basically he gonna put your ass, your proud ass down. It says of that of man that is hostile, a certain enemy the hostile one, the devil who is the most bitter enemy of the divine government, which is the so called white man. The divine government is the tower, the flock. Micah the fourth chapter the eighth verse. Satan is an enemy of that. Tower the flock beginning with Yahweh Bashami and the elect. The divine government. Satan trying to hinder that, but he win win. He will not win. Continue it says verse verse nineteen. Whose end is destruction. So once there is an enemy at the cross of Yahweh, Shai, 
your end will be to be destroyed. You will not be saved. There's two things, destruction and salvation. You will be in the part of the salvation. You will be in the part of the destruction. The word end comes from the Greek telos. Telos. And it means end. Termination. You will be terminated. The limit of the, at which a thing ceases to be. You will be ceased to be. You're living on the earth right now. You're existing on earth, right? You're being on earth. You're a human being. You're being on this earth. You're living. You're your wife. You're your children. You're your pride. You're your fucking idols. And you're living. But you have a shy coming to bring your ass to an end. Okay? Always of the end of some act or state, but not of the end of a period of time. The end, the last in any succession or series, eternal. By that which is, by that which a thing is finished, it's closed issue. The end to which all things relate, the aim, purpose, total custom. Because all your aim is to be destroyed. Your purpose was to be destroyed. Going on. Whose God is their belly? Just like these niggas who, who, who eating them burgers and the talking shit. Ties who the serve and them the, the guts. You love to serve your guts. Then go on food. See the most high strategic. The most high. Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. Make man with the ability to eat. And make make it the way. In order to eat. In order to survive. You have to eat. In order to live. You have to eat. You could have make man self-sustainable. Meaning. Whenever we feel hungry, we just tell ourselves we believe we want to fall. But he didn't make we so. He make we where whenever we feel hungry, we had to eat. You know why? So that whenever we get proud, he just take away food from we and leave it to starve to death. So whose God is their belly? You niggas love the fact that you could eat at will in Babylon. Got I wear the serve. Your guts. But your guts ain't going to save you. You can fill your belly how much you want. It ain't going to save you. Your own wick. Your God is your own wicked devices in your heart. Right? Your own wickedness in you. Serving your own belly. The whole belly. The entire cavity. Come from the Greek word. Strong's G, 2836, Koilea, Koilea. The entire cavity, the whole belly, the upper eye, stomach, and the lower belly are distinguished. The lower belly, the lower region, the receptacle of the excrement, the gullet, to be given up to the pleasures of the palate, the gluttony, the womb, a place where the Fetus is conceived and nourished until birth at the start of the uterus, animals of animals, and the innermost part of man, the soul, the heart, at this, as the seat of thoughts, feeling, choice. So you, you love to serve your own guts, right? You love to serve your belly, right? Whose glory is their shame? This Babylon that you love is going to be a shame. In the days to come, in the days to come, your Babylon will be your glory. It will be a shame. Scripture says, Many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. It says, Who mind the earthly things? Everything you can all you want. Right? You're minding earthly things. You ain't going on free and make it with that kind of mentality. And them two, them, those three undesirables, Lord forbid that, you know, I should make 
I should be undeserved. Those she undeserves of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai could not feel the wrath of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Okay? It says, For our conversation is in heaven, from whence we also also we look for the Savior and the Lord Yahushai Mashiach. Right? So, with that, we give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Kodash. Double and see apostles and elders of great millstone that we will be some blessings to the elect. This year is our one sign and house in Shalom to the elect.